Let's add another DVD optical drive into our virtual machine in VirtualBox 6. We want to choose a powered off virtual machine. It's got to be powered off or it won't work. And click on settings. And from here, we'll click on storage on the left hand side. And we see lots of different buttons. So we want to go to where it says controller. Now we've already got one DVD, you can tell by the little circle here. And we have one storage hard drive, which you can tell it looks like a, a picture of a hard drive. So what we want to do is we have a couple of options next to the word controller SATA. We can choose to add an optical drive or we can choose to add another hard drive. We want to add an optical drive, which is a DVD. So we have the option to leave this device empty. So it'll show up as a drive letter like any other DVD, but it'll show up as nothing is inside it. Or we can click to choose a disc. Let's click on choose disc. Now in VirtualBox 6, it no longer gives you the option to add a, uh, a DVD physical drive. You can only add an ISO file. And if you don't see any ISO files in your list here, then you'll need to click on the Add button and locate the ISO files in your File Explorer. Once you locate that folder, you'll see all the ISO files in your list. Now mine already sees it because it, I've already picked from it before. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, this Windows 10 Enterprise and highlight it and click Choose. So now we see I have an Enterprise DVD ready to go. And we also have another one, which is setting up the guest editions for VirtualBox. I will click OK. And now I'll double click on my virtual machine, boot it up, and I should see two optical drives once I boot up. My virtual machine is booted up. I'll click on File Explorer, click on this PC, and there it is. I see my guest editions and I see my Windows 10 DVD. I can click uh, Open and I can see all the files. So that's how you added CD-DVD drive into VirtualBox 6.